okay, this is the existing locks, the existing uh, size of vessel that we can put through the canal. We have to go to the next uh, size of vessel. And of course, as we're gearing up to this, we have we, we talked to all of our customers, and they at that time, they were saying, back 2004, they're saying, well, no, the workhorse that you're going to see through the Panama Canal is an 8,000 TU vessel. Well, because we don't believe anyone, we said, well, well let's go bigger. So, so we actually made it so that the blocks can actually fit a very easily a 13,000 TU vessel, 13,200 TU vessel, and eventually, um, because of more, more anything than experience, re reaching experience, we can go to a 14,000 TU vessel. And, and that is important because, uh, you know, there are vessels that are being built that are larger than these locks that we're building. And uh, our analysis tell us that, uh, by the way, the blue, the light blue, is a Panamax or less of today's Panamax. A neo Panamax means that that's a new Panamax. That's when we complete the, the, the new locks. And the post Panamax is those that will be post Panamax once the locks, the new locks are built. So in 2014, what we have is 74 vessels have already been built that exceed the size of the existing Panama Canal. And by 2018, looking at the order book, it will increase to about 112. Uh, it will increase to 112, that's what the order book says. Now, when you look at the numbers of slots, it's a different story, it's a, it's a larger amount, but it's, it's also um, you know, something that is manageable. So you, you have uh, 8.1 million TEU still being uh, available for the Panamax locks, uh, the new locks will be able to handle another 8.9 million TEUs, but there will be 5.9, uh, sorry, 1.1 million TEUs that will not be able to transit through the canal. Now, these vessels are not being built to actually uh, serve our route. It's mostly being built to serve Asia to Europe. And in 18, it will grow to uh, 1.6. So even in 2018, we would have 91% of all of the container vessels built, even the, you know, that can go through the new expanded canal. Our focus in the end of all of this is to achieve the maximum potential of our geographical position. Not just uh, looking at vessels going through, and I think, is Jim Bigler here? He was going to be, yeah, Jim. And we were talking a little bit about that. It, it's really not just, uh, it, it, you know, the Panama Canal has always been looked at as a shortcut. And everybody wants to save money just going through it. We don't want you to save money just going through it. We want you to save money using the Panama Canal, using Panama as a hub. Because there are many things that you can do there. So I don't want you to go through. I want you to stop, do business, and then go through. Both things. <laughs>